evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Sterling. And I'm Suzanne Jihad. 24-hour news aid at 11 starts right now. On air, online, on the go. West Michigan's news leader is 24-hour news aid. As soon as I found out that somebody was in the house while I was sleeping, it made me sick to my stomach. Living in fear. Residents in the normally quiet village of Sunfield say kids are running wild, breaking into dozens of businesses and houses, even while people are at home sleeping. And now they're banding together to try and put an end to the crime. 24-hour News 8's Mark Thompson is just back from Eaton County. He's at the live desk with the latest on this story. Mark? Yes, Susie, Sunfield is a village of less than 600 people. Now, they don't have a police department, and as you mentioned, they're saying that kids are running wild after dark. They're breaking into those businesses and homes. Well, tonight, residents pack the village hall, and they want to find a solution to the problem that's got people living in fear. Welcome to the village of Sunfield, a small, quiet, sleepy town waking only when the train rolls through. But over the past few months, big city problems, crime, more than a dozen businesses and residents broken into from Tammy's Salon, Hannah's Meat Market, and even the offices at the Sunfield Grain Elevator. The thieves removing the air conditioner to get in here at Automotive Manufacturing, taking a laptop and a gun. You feel safe and secure, and, and you know, this stuff starts out at this, and how much worse is it going to get? Whoever is responsible stealing not just things, but peace of mind. I'm scared. Because, you know, it's continuing to happen, so are they going to come back? The crime's more serious now. They pushed in this window here. Bandits breaking into Danielle Williams' house while she was sleeping, making off with her purse. How can people do that? How can somebody do that when people are home sleeping, especially when there's kids in the house? And the town has had enough. Showing up in force, standing room only at the village council meeting, pointing the finger at local teenagers running wild after dark. The father of one of the accused is standing up for his son. Maybe it's not kids. Maybe it's older people. With no police department, Sunfield residents rely on the Eaton County Sheriff's Department, located nearly 20 miles away. And we're here tonight to explore some of the options and you know, examine what, what the problem is and what the best solution may be. Residents say they want the offenders locked up now before the crimes escalate. The bat's been next to my bed, you know. And someone gets seriously hurt. Now, the Sheriff's Department says that they have increased patrols and they have several promising leads. One long-term solution, they say, is for the village to contract a permanent officer strictly for that area. Now, that's something that the village will have to consider, but like many towns and cities in Michigan, they, too, have budget issues to try and work out. From the Live Desk, Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News 8.